Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. It's a cool treat on a hot day. You could say ice cream is the snack of the summer. Well, July marks National Ice Cream Month, but did you know the frozen treat dates as far back as the second century BC? Gerard Lampau reports. So I got superhero flavored ice cream because when you eat it, you feel like a superhero. They hardly even serve this kind of stuff in Kelowna, BC, which is yeah, hard to capital. believe, but <laughs> this, is, um, this is very good. We'll I recommend it. Come on down here to the outdoor pool, swim a little. A packed pool as the day temperatures hit the mid-20s. The scoop always busy on days like this, but the dairy product has always been a popular treat. The first ice cream ad appeared in the New York Gazette in May 1777. Eventually, National Ice Cream Month was established in July 1984. Marble Slab is celebrated over the weekend. It is cotton candy and it's got a little bit of bubblegum sprinkles on it. It's a bright color and it's making my tongue blue. Ice cream isn't just always a summertime. There's lots of people actually that believe that it's a, it's a really sweet treat and it's nice to have even during the winter months. And back at the outdoor pool, the deep fried flavor is quite the scoop. First you have to roll your ice cream ball. So then I pre-freeze them and then I wrap them in my special batter, which is no one gets to know. And then I freeze it again. So it's frozen when you stick it in the deep fryer and only for like 20 seconds and then it's ready to go. Yum. Mm. Strawberry covered, rich ice cream flavor on the inside and a lovely deep fried batter on the out. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it's a nice hot day and uh, ice cream's always perfect for a nice hot day. <laughs> Gerard Lampau, Newcap News. Switching gears now, we have two more pets to feature for adoption in this week's pet project. Toby is a four-year-old Border Collie Cross, and Itzy is a two-year-old domestic medium-haired cat. Here's John from the SPCA. Meet Toby, a four-year-old Border Collie Cross. Toby is a very energetic and active boy. He loves nothing more than to play fetch. As long as you have a ball in your hand, Toby will be right by your side. Toby has so much energy that he would really enjoy and benefit from activities that can keep his mind active. He would be the perfect dog for agility training. Due to his independent nature, Toby would be better suited to a home with older children. He's really not interested in interacting with the little ones. If you are looking for a dog to keep you active and share in your adventures, Toby may be the perfect dog for you. Come down to the SPCA and meet him today. Meet Itzy. Itzy is a two-year-old domestic medium hare. This handsome fellow was admitted to the SPCA after an injury caused severe damage to his left eye. Unfortunately, the eye had to be surgically removed, a surgery that could not have been completed if not for the donations made to our Injured Animal Fund. Itzy is recovering nicely from his surgery. However, it does take him a few minutes to get comfortable. After a few pets and treats, however, he will be purring and cuddling with you in no time. If you'd like to help animals like Itzy receive the life-saving surgery they need, Donate to the Lloydminster and District SPCA Injured Animal Fund by visiting our website, lloydminstersspca.com. Just a few dollars can make a huge difference in an animal's life. <laughs> 